Greetings subscribers and other curious people. I came across a video earlier this week from someone who was attacking feminism on a number of grounds, most of them being the standard set of ad hominem attacks. But one that stood out was that feminism is a pointless movement because it is trying to solve problems that don't exist because there aren't problems in the Western world. All of the problems that women face are in the insert geopolitical slur of choice. Now, believing aside the fact that I don't agree that gender stereotyping has been solved in the Western world, there's the rather interesting idea that trying to make the world a better place is pointless if you don't live in a place where a problem is occurring. The idea that those who see a problem somewhere else and want to solve it are failures for wanting to solve the problem because they're not suffering it themselves. Now, I can think of a number of reasons why even if we were to accept the rather odd premise that there are no gender-related prejudices in the Western world, the Western world might still want to fight for women's rights, fight for everyone's rights. The first being the fact that if opinions have improved, then opinions have changed. So for there to be no problems, we would have to have transitioned from a state in which there were problems to a state in which there were not problems. But that was done by people's change in perception. So if we go, well, OK, the problem's fixed. Now let's pretend it never existed. Then any forces that tend towards inappropriate inequality will draw us back towards a less equal state, which seems like a step backwards to me. So even if we solve all of the problems in the Western world, we should still continue to, as Plato suggests, examine ourselves to make our lives worth living, to make sure that we're not accidentally sliding back into bad habits. Because who hasn't gone on a program of self-improvement, exercise, eating less cake, whatever, reached a point at which they have succeeded in their goal and then stopped self-policing and found that they've drifted away from the goal. But even if we assume that there are no problems in the Western world and having reached there, Western society will remain in a state of utopian homeostasis, there is still a benefit in pushing for greater equality. Because there is a difference between accepting that people are equal and actively working for it. So our politicians might accept the rules as they are here, but there is still a need to convince them to work harder to improve problems in other places. Also, there is the exemplar, both in terms of being a beacon of hope for people who are suffering oppression and for demonstrating to those who are claiming that equality is unsustainable that it isn't actively promoting a model of equality, even once we've achieved it, shows those who haven't reached it yet that it is possible, sustainable, and demonstrates methodologies for achieving it. So the answer to the question of why are we continuing to fight for equality when we've already achieved it is that we haven't, and that even once we have, that doesn't mean other people have as well. So 
we should give them the equal opportunity to achieve it. Toodaloo.